Hey Alyssa, hi Mark. Um, I got your email about Jasper. Don't worry, he's completely normal. Um, what you want to do as far as the potty training goes is make sure you have the puppy pads and each time he goes to the bathroom on the puppy pads you want to um, move it just a little bit closer to the back door. First you want to start putting it where he normally goes, whether it's on your carpet, behind a couch or something. You want to leave it there. Let his scent get on it from peeing or defecating. Then each time you want to move it just a little bit closer and a little bit closer. Not a big noticeable amount, but just a little bit um, to the back door or whichever door you want him to go out of. And then you're going to... Um, make sure that you give him a few days at least to get used to that um, because he's going to start noticing that it's moved from wherever it was um, to like three feet from the back door or whatever and then once it gets to the back door leave it there for like one or two days and then start um, putting it outside the back door um, but let him see you put it out there um, let him make sure he knows where it is, even if he can't get to it when the door's closed. Um, and then he'll start going over to scratch at the door, or you can hang a bell and train him to ring, ring the bell. Um, and eventually he'll just go over and sit by the door and wait to go out. And then he'll go on the potty pads. And what I really recommend for having in the backyard is one of the pee posts. I think I told you about it, but I might not have. Um, it's a yellow plastic stake that has the pheromones that tell them to go to the bathroom there as if they've been there before. And you want to put it in whatever spot you want them to go in the backyard. Um, sometimes you don't even have to push it into the ground because that can be kind of hard um, if you have hard soil. But um, sometimes they'll want to chew on it so it's always good to try that first um, and that will tell them that that's where they're supposed to go you always want to walk with him to that spot wait for him to go and if he does congratulate him if he doesn't don't say anything just bring him back into the house and then every time you think he's gonna go immediately take him over to that spot outside um, once you get him going to the back door at least. Uh, when puppies are about, up to about four months or so, you want to start taking them out every half hour. Um, some of them only need it once every hour, but that's only a rare few, so don't expect that to be the norm. Um, as far as him being super attached to you, Alyssa, that's because we're all females in this family. Um, we have one male, that's little Sylvester, my, my uh, six-year-old nephew. And um, he didn't play a big part in Jasper in particular's life. Um, he was more for a few of the other ones. So it makes sense that he wouldn't be too quick to jump to Mark. Um, a few of them have uh, um, let us know that they've gotten really attached to the females in their families as well. It will wear off. What you need to do is um, when he gets overly excited when you show up, don't get overly excited to see him. Don't ignore him, but don't be overly excited. And when Mark comes to see him after not being near him, whether he's been in the bathroom or been at work or whatever, um, he should bring a few little treats like um, even a toy or um, the Purina indoor cat chow with the green bag that I told you about. Um, that'll be written in your book as well. So, um, And you want to just give him a few of those, when, or, or not you, but Mark. Um, when he sees him for the first time after being away for a few minutes. And he'll begin to associate that positive moment with Mark, and he'll get to be really attached to him. Also, if the crate is always closest to Mark, um, I believe you mentioned that you're crate chaining him. I could be wrong. You want to do that in this case. It will really help. 
um, if you need some help in that, I uh, just let me know and I'll help you out um, explaining what to get and that sort of thing. It's a little fuzzy for me remembering who exactly I've talked to about that already, so you'll have to excuse me. But um, yeah, crate training always helps because it gives them their own bedroom. Um, they feel really comfortable with that. Uh, when, if you do have a crate, um, Mark should always be closest to it and he should always be able to see Mark when he's in it, whether it's at night or if um, you're eating supper and you're training him to be in there while you're eating. Um, he should be solely focused on Mark. Um, and then once he gets evenly attached or more attached to Mark, um, you can start back up w being your regular, you know, super excited self when you see him. That that will be fine then. But for the moment, you want to hang back a little bit and um, not be so affectionate to him. Don't n ignore him, like I said, but um, try not to make it such a positive thing. Like, he's dying to see you. Um, and you should be fine. I mean, all of the other ones seem a little female-oriented as well, but there's really nothing to worry about. He'll get really attached to Mark real fast. Um, especially the more things they get to do with each other once he's gotten his third set of shots. Um, he should have gotten his second ones by now. If not, don't sweat it. You can wait another week or so, um, and and he should be okay. But And if you need me to give you the information on a low-cost clinic in your area, just give me um, the town that you spend the most time in shopping and I can find um, the cheapest clinic in that area whether it's through the company we use or another one. They have programs all over the state um, and even if you're not in the state I can find you one. So I hope this helps. Um, if you have any more questions please feel free to email me. I am having a little trouble with my internet right now so if I don't get back to you right away don't worry. I'm not ignoring you. Um, and you can always text the number that I gave you or you can call anytime, um, whichever is easiest for you. And by about Monday, I should be sending out the package with your book and your mat and your slip leads. So um, by then, it'll be going out and it should be to you a few days after that. Um, just make sure you... Uh, send me which address you want it to, whether it's P.O. box or whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, I just want to make sure you'll get it soon. So, um, I hope that helps. Have a nice day. Bye.